Well, good morning and welcome to Thursday Virtual Chapel. Uh, this morning we're interviewing um, someone who's just recently arrived at the school and I realised I, I forgot to get her to introduce herself at the beginning of the interview. Um, so her name is Miss Mohan and um, yeah, I'll let her explain the rest. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Welcome on the to uh, Virtual Chapel. Uh, just to, I thought we'd do a, a kind of um, a get to know you round um, okay. and do the either or round. So... Uh, quick fire round. Would you rather eat dog food or cat food? Dog food. Really? I don't know why. Okay. I think of a feeder um, cat. <laughs> McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Okay. Um, another crucial life decision. Uh, Marmite or no Marmite? I've never tried Marmite. Marmite so. What? You're missing never tried out? It, You're yeah. missing well, out? Apparently not because 50% of the people hate it so. Do you want to tell us a bit about yourself, Anya? What were you, what were you doing before you came to St. Lawrence? Before I came to St. Lawrence, I was studying at Kent, the University of Kent, in Canterbury, for four yes. years. So I did two years there, then a year abroad in Italy, and then my fourth year, last year, which got cut, cut short because of coronavirus, and oh, no. now I'm here. <laughs> and obviously, so you were... Uh, hey, what, what did you study? History and Italian. Oh, wow, so... Uh, you speak Ita- Italiano? Yeah, apparently so. Do, <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? No. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't, know, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> so, yeah, I do. Not amazingly. I don't think I'm fluent, but people who don't speak Italian think I'm good at it. So. Oh, That's okay. all I'm sure you're being too kind. Uh, what's the word? Putting yourself down. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, but, um, uh, so, but obviously, so you studied Italian. How did you end up here in St. Lawrence School? Um, I found out about St. Lawrence in like an ID program, which is like a Christian thing mm. associated with the church. Yes. So you can do a year of placement somewhere while you're doing this Christian training course. Yes. And that's basically how I found out about it. And I was drawn to the fact that I could work with people, but also like be involved in Christian work. Yes. So I suppose it was the Christian ethos of the school which drew me in. Oh, that's and good. that's why I'm here. That's very kind. And what what are you doing in the school? I mean, what what are your sort of current involvements? Um, I'm the boarding assistant in Kirby, so I help with the kids that are boarders, the year seven and eight, and I also help out with the Christian stuff. I help the yes. chaplain. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I enjoy doing things like that, like this interview. What has been your most memorable? Uh, well, it's hard. How long have you been here? Two weeks. Yeah, yesterday. So, I mean, that's true. What has been your most memorable event so far in um, St. Lawrence? Memorable event? Well, the first day was quite fun. We did we toasted marshmallows in the woods. What that lesson was pretty was that? Cool. What lesson was that? No, it was just a Sunday, so fun uh, activity. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. And I also taught a boy how to play Subban. Um, I went the Saints on the piano, which was What, go cool. marching on? Yeah. Oh, we can all get him cool. to play at yeah, chapel we then. <laughs> when we can meet, the skills, yeah. we can go back to chapel. Gosh, that's quite impressive. Yeah. And I suppose, uh, not necessarily St. Lawrence in general, what has been the hardest moment in your life or scariest moment? Um, scariest could have been going to Italy because I didn't know anyone, I didn't know where I was going to live, and I couldn't speak the language, and where I was going, nobody spoke English. So that was scary, but once I got there... I was fine. It could have been like a really lonely and hard experience, but because of God, like, I genuinely felt like every day, like I wasn't alone, although I yes. was alone yes. physically. So that was like a game changer in my relationship with God in a sense, because I realized like genuinely I'm never alone. So mm-hmm. that's where I learned like that lesson. Um, but last year as well was really hard because I struggled with like a lot of fear and anxiety yes. in yes. a way that I'd never felt before. Yes. So I really struggled there. And then again, I learned like God's word actually triumphs over what I feel and think so I thought if I think this and I feel this then that's like me now I feel like this so that's the way I'm going to be forever but I realized that God's word actually like is is sovereign over those things Mm. so it completely changed how I view his word and also my life so when I'm struggling with something I don't need to like suffer right like I can go to his word and it's actually got genuine power and can change the situation but obviously you're going to be with us a year what what do you really hope to learn while you're here um, I hope to learn how to interact with people, I think, I suppose. I would like to learn, yeah, how to interact with young people and communicate with them in a way where, like, I can get something from them, they can get something from me, and to teach, in a way. Mm. I would like to practice that. But also, like, how things are run, like, in chaplain stuff, Christian unions. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, stepping into a lot of different things to learn, I suppose, different things that I wouldn't have learned before if I had not have come here. 
Thank you very much, Anya, for your time. Thank you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing Miss Mohan to the school. I thank you for all the gifts that she has uh, to offer. Lord, please, we pray that this will be a useful time for her, that she will learn how to um, put those gifts into practice and learn more about your ways uh, at the school. And Lord, we do continue to pray for those in our community who are struggling. Uh, Lord, we thank you for Mr. Bendel and his care of the Harper family. Lord, we pray that you'll continue to be with them in this difficult time. Amen.